We decided that if we were really gonna find Ivy, we would have to do this ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we went to the only reasonable place to begin our journey, the site the photo was taken. We stayed in the car and we staked out our location. I saw something. And so I said, hey you, where's Ivy? Uh, I was hired as a private investigator to find Ivy by her parents. When we saw that video, our jaws dropped. Stay tuned for more. She was at her very own apartment. What are you doing here? Ivy! Yeah, we found her. <laughs> yeah. Here is good. Sorry. Oh, thank you. Furry side up. I guess if this hadn't happened to me, I don't know if I'd believe it. Okay, uh, where should I start? Where, where are we? From the beginning, like last week? Yeah, that's great. Okay, um, well, I was having a lot of trouble sleeping, like a lot. Just, I, I've been overextending myself for years. I don't know, I ne never really took the time to get like my apartment together. You know, I had all this uncomfortable mismatched furniture. I guess having the right furniture can really change your life, right? Like, for instance, I had these curtains, right? That let in a ton of light, which when I got the place, I thought was really nice, but I work nights, I need rest. I was having so much trouble sleeping. I was so tired. I was getting lethargic. I'm a nurse. You know, it's just a lot of charts and a lot of patients. And I used to keep it all up here. It was bad, really bad. I didn't know what to do. And before I knew it, I had developed a pretty serious caffeine habit. Like I'd order a huge coffee from one shop and then I'd go across the street to their rival shop and order another one. I was in such bad shape. And then one day when I was walking out of one of the coffee shops, I found this thing on the ground. And I know it sounds a little dramatic, but it changed my life. I mean, I had never heard of this before. The Ikea family, I mean, what is that? It was a family, but better than family if that makes sense. Wait, is this the Swedish family? Is it like a group of Swedish stands? I love their fish. No, it just means that you get free coffee whenever you go inside. And other great incentives throughout the year. But you, my own sister, never got me a coffee. I mean, I didn't even know you liked coffee. It, if I had known, I would have. Anyway, I went to Ikea to check it out. And what I saw blew my mind. I mean, I guess I just got lost in it. I've been meaning to take a staycation for a while, but my house just never gave me the escape that I needed. And I knew I had to decompress. I mean, even my actual family said that I needed a vacation. Listen to your mother. You need a vacation. You need a vacation. I took time off work, hung up my blackout curtains, and boosted up my space. Anyway, once I settled in, I just felt so different. I just felt so invigorated and carefree, you know? Just so liberated and full of life. I stopped using social media and was just present in the moment. I really didn't think anyone would come look for me. What do you mean we didn't need to look for you? You just disappeared, just poof and gone. I didn't disappear per se, I just... You didn't tell anyone you were leaving. You just didn't show up to work. We were worried sick. I was gone for like two days. <laughs> it was a stressful two days. I got someone to cover my shifts at work. I left a note for everyone on staff in the break room. I mean, did you guys not see that? Okay, well, I have a side hustle. And I'm pretty focused. So like, you get it, right? Whatever. So that was it? You didn't have a second family? Nope. And you weren't in like witness protection? Like I said, I just raided my apartment. Hey, to be honest, it was long overdue. And 
I've never felt more like myself. It's like I finally know the real me. I am so happy that our daughter is happy. Yes, my goodness, this apartment is gorgeous. It's better than the last one she had. You know, I told her to get a new bed, to get some quality sleep. I'll miss having her as a customer, but I'm really glad she's doing well. Does Ikea really give their family members free coffee every time they come in? Mm -hmm. That's gonna be bad for our business. Finding Ivy actually got me thinking. Mm -hmm. What if I spend too much time wondering what my sister and her friends are up to mm -hmm. and not enough time focusing on me? Uh, uh, that, right? that right there. That's where I'm at with it, mm -hmm. you know? I just, yeah. my, my soul is just like craving like uh, a change, like a boost, sure, you know? Sure, 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 sure. Uh, I will get the car. Oh, I will follow. We'll get the car. <laughs> Well, I was inspired by Ivy. I knew I needed an upgrade. No one could have predicted what we went through that day. And no one could be the same afterwards. Ivy inspired us all. So yeah, I guess that's it. I'm back at work now and I feel better than ever. If this bedroom has given me a new lease on life. And I couldn't have done it without Ikea, truly. I tried to tell him that she was just at home the whole time, but no one wanted to hear it. <laughs> what is this interview for again, anyway? Is this like some sort of prank show? <laughs> I knew it, you cannot fool me. I mean, I'm a detective after all. Uh, are we done? Hello? I'll send the invoice. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Give me a call if you need me again. You guys are great, keep going. Glad you guys found her. Yeah, I guess I'll head back to Ikea. 